Welcome to the Georgia High School Football State Playoffs as Sammy Hollins and the Macon Sharks sneak in with a 3-6 record, ready to take on Atlanta, a 9-0 powerhouse. We don't even get to know the name of their team yet until later, but obviously the time is winding down for Sammy Hollins in high school. He has plenty of scholarship offers already handed to him, but we're looking to get some more on the board here, maybe three more with Clemson, Georgia, and Florida State, but we'll see what happens in the playoffs, guys. All right, could this be... Wait a minute, is this a home game? Oh, <laughs> I don't understand anything in this universe right now, but the Macon Sharks are hosting Atlanta High School in the playoffs in what could be Sammy Holland's final high school game as he makes his way to the NCAA soon. To begin the game, Atlanta will kick off on this fine evening here with Sammy Hollins back deep to return. Looking to get Macon's offense out to a good starting point, and they'll begin at about the 26-yard line. It's all about making your presence felt here early. Let's go. Six-yard rush, negative two. You get that first first, first down, that's a big play. 15-yard penalty on the defense, an automatic first down. Keep it moving, I'll take that. That's respectable. So, for those of you that are invested as I am in Sammy Holland's tackling statistic, he is up to 86 on the season now the season low three tackles last week against Snellville but now in the playoffs can he crack 100 he'll take a big performance today and he'll have to get going here early all right third and four they're going Maryland they're gonna oh they're gonna throw it I did not see that coming and they're gonna go to the tight end he drops the football still scoreless here 304 to go in the first quarter come on I want Sammy to return this kick we'll call fair catch oh we draw the flag he just pushed him into Sammy Hollins I gotta admit that's pretty that's pretty messed up right there and Sammy's awaiting the kick he calls fair catch and boom there you go 15 free yards yards sure help the offense lose two and now be stuck on third down and 12 come on guys Find a way to get that conversion. The pass off. Where is that going, man? First down and 10 for Atlanta. Now they go three wide receivers. And a nice catch over the middle. That'll be a nine-yard gain. Big 42. Sammy Hollins in man coverage on the outside. The cornerback will blitz. Man in motion. It's a give to the receiver on the jet. And he goes nowhere. All right, third and five. Come on, look at this making crowd into it. How are we hosting this game first off? I want to know some answers to my questions. And we once again force a punt. Macon's defense has showed up today. There was no silly 15-yard penalty this time around so now the offense goes back onto the field and once again they get off to a pretty good start two 15 yard penalties on this drive three in the game and now fourth and three inside the 25 yard line not a long field goal from here but they're gonna go for it and the throw is off and he's shy of the first down marker just kick it do we not have a guy to kick a 41 yard field goal i bet sammy hollins could kick the field goal from that distance come on guys we gotta get points that's how you win football games you know, with the lack of tackles in his last game in one quarter, where uh, I think that teams might be game planning against the wonderful Sammy Hollins and his tackling skills, but you can't game plan against that. Oh, come on, man. But uh, Sammy Hollins has been rough in coverage, up and down, shaking other areas, but tackling wise, he's been pretty solid. First down and 10 now. Halfback next to the quarterback out of the shotgun. He'll go over the middle. And Hollins goes over and drags the receiver to the ground. As to this side a little bit. First down and 10. Come on, over the middle again. And oh, Sammy dives. He's hyped up, guys. He's got to make some tackles. Safety down in the box. Sammy is the type of guy you bring down in the box but can get burned in coverage. On second down and four. Come on, you know you want to throw it to him. Ah, out of bounds. No, come on, guys. Third down and nine as Atlanta inches towards the end zone. They want to get six. Sammy wants to stop that from happening. Come on, Hollins. He'll go to the end zone. It's nearly picked off. Good play by the Macon defense. We're going to go up the middle. We're going to block it. We're going to jump up. We got the verts. We got like the 36 inch vertical or something like that. And Sammy goes up. Oh, I, I didn't even, I did triangle, but when I go in reaction time, the game hates me. And now the offense for Macon. They go three rushes for a first down. Get another first down in the air. Keep it moving. 12 yard game. This is what we need. 17 yards. Touchdown, Macon. It's good to see that this Macon offense is actually making something happen as it's first down and 10 now. Did you catch that, by the way? We go outside, almost picked up. On second down and five, they're going to spread it out and go four wide receivers. They're going to go long over the middle, and it's dropped. He heard footsteps, the footsteps of a man beast known as Samuel Hollins. 44 seconds to go, and the clock is running. Atlanta's thinking six. I'm thinking zero. Quarterback runs. He's got some room. Come on, Sammy, get in there. Why is everybody in my way? Big gain. Or, that's a little gain, actually. Second down and five now, and they'll go deep over the middle. No! 
Sammy! Oh my god, he just doused them in gasoline, lit the match, and set Sammy Hollins ablaze. Well, we've seen it time and time again. Sammy Hollins cannot keep up with deep receivers. He's better in the box, making tackles on running backs, but although the past couple weeks have just not been impressive for Hollins, only one tackle so far. He only has four tackles through his last six quarters. It's now second down and six. Here comes the man in motion. Let's get another tackle right here. Oh, can you see this is what's happening to me. It's not fair. And now on third and five, can Sammy Hollins disrupt the play? Going up the middle, come on. And it's a pass complete for a first down, still on his feet across midfield. Who set it down? Sammy Hollins playing closer to the line this time, and they'll dump it off shy. And no, oh, Sammy Hollins is blocked, and he still can't make tackles. This, this is bad. All right, we're gonna send the absolute house on him now. Everything with a kitchen sink, and it works. The blitz gets to Atlanta when they're about to find the open receiver and making forces fourth down. Oh no, it's a fake! What is going on, Sammy? You gotta kill him! Oh no, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the first interception. I am so surprised. So now the threat of a safety is basically all for not now is it second down and inches and Sammy tries to fill but gets hit by a guard and they end up getting the first down and now I formation and they'll go to the fullback and this time I, I was confused out of the eye once again on first down and 10 as the chains have moved multiple times oh no no oh my god I thought he was just going to the sideline not going upfield get rid of the reaction time button I want my strafe button back please second down and 10 and they're gonna throw. They'll go to the outside. And it's hauled in. Nice catch. Very risky play as Sammy Hollins once again does not get the tackle. Now they got three receivers right and a little triangle right there. And they're gonna go to the halfback. And Sammy Hollins is <laughs> right there again. A lot of defensive backs have their numbers inflated because the guys in front of them miss tackles. And that's just not happening today as Sammy Hollins finally gets a second tackle on the day. Takes about 48 years. Time winding down in the third quarter. Macon trying to hold Atlanta to at the few at a field goal the most. And they're going to snap the football. Handoff! And there is uh, destruction in the backfield. We go to the fourth. Fourth quarter. Trying to keep our playoff hopes still running. In the first round here against Atlanta. 10-7. Five minutes to go. Sammy Hall is trying to spark this making team. Come on! That's how you play the option defense. And Sammy gives him the hard shoulder. Let's take a look one more time as tackles are missed. And that opens up Hollins for the opportunity to lay the wood on the unfortunate offensive player. This is a monumental third down and 12 from the 37 yard line. Come on, Macon. It's a screen. Reading it all the way. Sammy's not going to fall for it. Oh my god, they still throw it. And Sammy, oh my god, flank down. What are they calling? Oh no, I think I know what it is. Oh, holding on the offense. I thought I was going to get past interference on Sammy for like clipping a pixel of the shoulder or something. And they're going to attempt the field goal. Come on, Sammy. We're going to return it. They're going to miss it. Come on. The kick is up. And it's definitely short. And uh, where did Sammy go? He, he got lost. But we, apparently we found him and he has been rescued and back to the football field. And Macon will attempt to get this victory. After the missed 51-yarder, Macon's offense has the football. And they start off by going backwards and go three and out. First down for Atlanta, Macon's defense needs another stop now. Single back formation now, handoff to the tailback as he squirts through the line and finds running room for a first down. Macon has to get some stops and can't give up too many first downs, let this clock keep running. Not a lot of time left, now pass outside, intercepted! Let's go, turn that around, get a block, come on, across midfield, that's what Macon needed. This is your opportunity, let's knock off Atlanta, touchdown Macon, I don't believe it. Macon is in a position to win and advance in the playoffs so they can knock off Atlanta. This is exciting. Three minutes until we win. Uh-oh. Quarterback scrambling. He's got running room. Hollins catches up from behind, but he breaks out of the tackle. First down. We got to stop Atlanta. We want to advance in the playoffs. They're already at midfield. It's first down and ten. Quarterback, he thinks he's Mike Vick now, and he dives ahead for seven. Macon looking to get a stop here, obvious four down territory as they drop back to throw and dump it off. It's caught and Sammy, he may have hit his own, he may have hit three people on that play. But the chains do move and a field goal does Atlanta no good. A minute 44 to go. Come on Macon, trying to hold on and advance in the playoffs. Here's the throw and Sammy lights him up. That's how you play safety. Sammy Hollins is getting hype here in the second half. One minute and 39 seconds to go. Hollins in his deep zone. And they're not going to test him because they're getting sacked. Third and 19 coming up. 
clock is running. One minute, 18 seconds to go. They need 19 yards for a first down. Here's the throw over the middle. Pass caught, complete tackle. A gain of maybe 12, 13 yards to be fourth down and six. 60 seconds from a playoff victory. Fourth down, here we go. Tight end in motion across the formation. On fourth down, and it's a first down grab. Now they spread it out again on first down and 10. Macon's defense just trying to hold on for dear life as the pass is caught and Sammy stops him just shy of the first down. For the win, Macon to stop the Atlanta offense. It's a handoff and he's met at the line of scrimmage. Did he get it? Yes. The clock is ticking, 20 seconds left to go. Third down and five. What do they do this time? And zone touchdown Atlanta, no! What a heartbreaking defeat this would be. 15 seconds, it's not quite over. Macon has a little bit of hope. Sammy Holland's on the return, looking for room, and he only gets to the 28-yard line. It's up to the O. Seven seconds left for Macon. Two plays to go at the most, and the pass quickly outside. It's caught! Go! Oh, my God! No, no, walk off! We're not done in high school yet. We're going to the second round. I don't believe what I just saw. Do we, do we just honestly do that? I gotta watch the replay. Oh my God. Oh my God. And the stat thing comes up now. Sammy Holland, six tackles. That's cool. The making offense just pulled it off and stun the 9 0. Atlanta high school team out know their name but 21 17 making advances in the first round of the playoffs and here it is just an absolute burn by our top receiver going deep and oh man we're advancing we don't probably deserve to be in the playoffs but if you lose to a 3 and 6 team you don't deserve to be there either after that playoff performance Georgia Florida State and Clemson are all very interested in the young Sammy Hollins as him and the Macon Sharks have advanced to the second round of the Georgia High School football playoffs. And now more interest here from UNC, Tennessee, and Mizzou. We'll go with Tennessee. And uh, we'll see what uh, Corderell Patterson has to say if he uh, would be okay with Sammy Hollins going against him in practice and maybe hitting him a few times too hard. But round two is up next, guys. And uh, I honestly thought this may be the last episode of high school football, but not quite. Swainsboro is the next victim for Sammy Hollins and the Macon Sharks. Can they find a way to advance again? Find out next time. Thank you for watching. Leave comments down below. I'm sure you have something interesting to say.